Hi there, Andy again. Just giving you a very, very quick video about um, disgorging fish. Uh, some people are not too sure what these things are. Tea bars, disgorgers, how to use them correctly. Um, fantastic idea. It's a very simple idea of a bit of metal wire with a hook or a loop um, which goes over the line down onto the hook which helps you disgorge your fish very simply so really good tool this is a gemini one some people got other different styles t-bars and so on but um really simple um obviously got catching fish first as well <laughs> um we're about three and a half weeks into uh, lockdown phase three um obviously getting frustrating because we can't get out and go fishing that's the frustrating thing but um the weather's really nice and um, most importantly, uh, a lot of us are still here and still doing the right thing. Um, so this is one of the rigs that I made the other day, which is a single hook, single hook rig. Very, very simple. Lead weight on the bottom, swivel on the top. Really, really easy. Now, the idea what I'm doing here to show you is assuming you've hooked a small fish or dogfish or something like that. Um, I'm going to try and make it as easy as I can, but utilizing perhaps a lead weight. So let's say the fish has been hooked. I don't know if you can see the hook there. Very simple. Fish has been hooked on there. That's your rig. And you wound it in and the fish is there dangling away. Um, so trying to cause uh, minimal stress or mi minimal sort of time holding the fish. I try to avoid holding many fish um, just for the fish's sake. And so assuming it's on there, it's taking your bait, um, you get your disgorger, really, really easy. And the fish is on and the disgorger, you literally attach to the line. And you can see what I have here is now the lines through the um, sort of eye of the disgorger and as you pull the weight with the weight of the fish as you pull it up pull it up over your your hook and as you can just see there the weight of the fish is would be pulling against the the bend of the hook hopefully you can see that so assuming that's a fish on there and then as you pull so assuming you're above the fish Try not to do it from too high because really what you're trying to do is get the fish off of the hook and you don't want to do it really high up and it hits the floor. Um, sometimes you can do it straight back into the water, which is fine. So now all I've done is just with the weight of the fish, literally pulled it like so. And then as you go around the bend of the hook, the disgorger pulls it off. It's a really, really simple way, simple method. Um, of using the actual weight of the fish to get the hook off or to get it off the hook so just showing you again so really simple oops sharp as well <laughs> uh, really simple um, assuming you've got a fish on so that's the little hole that it's perhaps gone in its mouth in the side of the mouth or in the hook uh, in the lip or whatever you've got it into the um into the rip uh, into the shore in front of you again don't do it from a too high don't stand up sort of crouch down close to the shingle or even in back into the water and then with that you put it around the line so just literally pull it on the line and as you can see as i'm pulling that tight it goes out slips over the eye of the hook and over your knot and then quite simply as you're pulling against the weight of the fish and then give it a shake then off it comes as simple as that can be minimal touching of the fish some cases like i say you don't have to touch the fish you can do that straight back into the water so there's a little tip for today thanks ever so much for liking subscribing really appreciate everybody um commenting as well um thanks ever so much stay safe and i look forward to speaking to you soon tight lines everybody see you soon thank you